Hey guys, welcome back to Front Seat Driver. My name is Jason. I'm here today with Mark, and we're going to go ahead and change uh, course a little bit from right. Corvette. Right. He is a Corvette owner, has one and a half C8s <laughs> at the moment. One, one and a half C8. Yeah. One got wrecked last week, but <laughs> wasn't his fault. <laughs> right. So, so, so I'm going to I'm going to get two yeah. again. <laughs> Eventually, he'll be back to two C8s. Right. Um, but he also has the 2022 yep. Ford Lightning EV, and those of you who know me know. I'm not the biggest fan of EV, but not that's really. because I don't know a lot about it. Okay, okay. We'll change that. We'll change, we'll change that. that today. Yeah, we'll so this that. is going to be my first opportunity to really see an EV right. and also drive an EV. Yes. So, yep. all right. Well, yep. hey, we're going to go ahead and get started. You guys stay tuned. All right, Mark. So tell me a little bit about your 2022 Ford Lightning. Well, glad you asked. The 20... No, I'm just playing. <laughs> 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 now, hey, think about it. Ford say they want to get into the EV game. What better way to get into the EV game than with an F-150? Everybody one know what it truck looks in like. America. Right. They, they know what an F-150 look like. So you already, you're, they already got half the crowd beat. And I'll just say I was not an EV guy. I'm not, I was not committed to EVs. I never owned an EV. Never rode in a Tesla. No shot. No. Um, damn. I, oh, sorry. sorry. Dude, I can't say it's that. not a shot at yeah, Tesla, yeah, but yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never rode in a Tesla, so I didn't know anything about them. And I bought the F-150 Lightning before I found out what it was. I thought it was the old supercharged short body F-150 Lightning coming back in a Raptor form in an 8. I had thought the same. When ever, I think everybody thought that when, right. it was, when they started talking about it. That's what we all thought. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's, what I, that's, that's what I thought. But this thing is all electric. Hey, check this out. <laughs> so cool. Look, mom, no hands. I know. And a frunk. You got to <laughs> love it. Where's the engine? How do you get this thing to move? <laughs> nope, you don't have to worry about that. Oh. Got, got a little little storage thing. Um, actually, a built-in ice chest. So, you know, you can put your ice and put so your does drinks. So, is that a drain? That's a drain. Oh, yep. oh, that, wow. is a, that is a drain. That's awesome. That is a drain. And what is the, the little door right there? Uh, that's just a little, that's a little panel, a little jump panel, because, you know, there's a, the battery's back there. Oh, I should know, see so, it's right there yeah. on the, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but over, over here are some, uh, some plugs, so, you know, even if you want the tailgate from the front, you oh, got just yeah. a little ice cooler, uh, you got quite an assortment for plugs, USB, power source, wow. and light. Is that, what is that? Light. Oh man, yep. holy cow, you got it all. That's, <laughs> I actually said, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> right, <laughs> It's right. really nice. <laughs> right. And I love the headlamps on here. Yes. I'm big on what the, the headlamps look like on cars just right. in general. And man, those are nice. Yeah. And that was the one, one of the reasons why I got the, why I got the Lariat because I'm sorry, let's go, let's go back to the front. I'll show you when, yeah. when this comes down. Uh, one of the reasons I got the Lariat is because the LED bar runs completely across the front of the car yes. and completely across the back of the car. Uh, there, there are two other versions of this. There's the Pro version yeah. and then the XLT. Just like, uh, you know, just like the normal F-150 line. Yeah. Um, but those don't have the full LED uh, light bar all the way across. So and that's, that's an easy that's way to That's another thing about electric vehicles that yeah. I absolutely love is just the lighting with all the LEDs. Yes. It's so nice. Yeah. So is this where your gas tank is? <laughs> <laughs> and not on this side. This one is actually cosmetic. The ah. other side, um, they just put this over here for symmetry. Yes. You know what I mean? Just so that it lines up and it looks uh -huh. the, the same. But the charge point is on the other side. So let's go over to the driver's side. Nice. And here's here's a charge point. Very cool. And then here, here's your uh, your standard EV plug. Um, that's standard all the way across across the country anywhere. Um, and it also has the dual capacity, so you can put in the high voltage um, re charger. So you can use one of the um, you know high voltage EV chargers uh, yeah. anywhere. Um, <laughs> these things are not compatible with Tesla uh, because <laughs> Tesla <laughs> Tesla said. Um, they said nope. They said nope, <laughs> but <laughs> they're rethinking it. So uh, the government has cut a deal with them. So at some point, everybody's going to be able to charge at Tesla stations. Yeah. So they're just trying to work out who's going to make the adapter, if Tesla's going to convert to the standard, or if we're going to get an adapter to use those super stations. Maybe Ford can make a very large donation to Twitter. <laughs> well, that, that, <laughs> that could, might, that, that that could might make it. That, could that work. might grease the wheels and make this all uh, a thing in the future very soon. Hey, look, look while you say that, um, truthfully, Ford was like one step ahead yeah. because my F-150 came with an adapter where I could 
plug in and charge a Tesla if they ever ran out of juice. So nice. <laughs> Ford already threw the olive branch out to Tesla. They did. They <laughs> you know did. What They're I mean? like, look, so, we can work together. <laughs> right, right. Nice, right. nice. <laughs> so from what I see just initially, because I haven't yes. even really looked in this, so far it looks really similar to my F-150 right there Correct. inside. Correct. So that's pretty cool. So if you're buying this, you're not learning how, you know, there's not a whole bunch of new new stuff, except that you have like a gigantic iPad. And I thought mine was big in my car. <laughs> Size matters. Size matters, exactly. <laughs> that's what she said. So, <laughs> so, very, very nice. And I love the sunroof. Now, obviously this is a higher trim level than like what my F-150 is. I'm not even, you know, it's not like I'm at a platinum or, or right, right. you know, king range. No, no, but that's that, a, but, but you have, you have a work truck. Correct, you know what I'm saying? Correct. So you yeah. have a work truck. You, you really don't need all of those bells and whistles for right. a work truck. Um, so that's actually something that I wanted yeah. to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. So right. a lot of people were initially buying these for work trucks, right? which if you're not hauling heavy things, is a good idea, but yes. tell me a little bit about what we were talking about earlier when, when you're hauling. Um... Okay, yeah, truthfully, the, the EV game is not set up for max towing yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yes, it looks like a truck, um, it's built like a truck, it resembles a truck, but it's not gonna tow your camper, your wrecked car, you know, like yeah. you, you're not gonna haul that across the country like you would in a, in, in a regular gas or, or diesel truck. Even though it has the power to do it, it, has the it power. doesn't have the energy to yes, do that. Yes, it does not have the energy to do it. Um, when you're towing something extremely, extremely heavy, um, it will probably drain at I would say a third yeah. as much as it normally would. You know what I mean? So on on a full charge, it's rated at 330 miles. Yeah. Um, I have a level two charger at my house, so I've never had it more than like three, 305 to 310 yeah. was the max I ever got out of it. Um, but if I was towing a camper or another truck or something like that, well, that 300 mile range yeah. will probably only be 175 you know what i'm saying it, yeah. you know it, it, it would be something drastic like yes. that so the the energy redistribution has not been figured out yet so towing yeah but okay let me ask you this how many people are going to tow a camper how many people are going to tow another car like i i don't i don't it's a work truck there's a work truck and i'm in roofing and i've never personally towed anything <laughs> right so yeah you can I put carry your, a bundle you, of shingles maybe right? that's what i'm gonna say you, you can put your bun you can put yeah. your bundle singles back there your ladder and all your tools right hey and, you, and you'll be great exactly but, but for me this truck is a commuter truck and i literally go from my house to my office which is only about 12 miles yeah you know what i mean so it's, it's great for me and then i never have to stop at a gas station so, <laughs> exactly so i love it yeah one other question i do have for you because there's something else i saw and we didn't talk about this we mentioned but we haven't talked about it okay. is cold weather yes cold weather apparently also draws down on the charge of the battery have you noticed we just had a major ice right. storm right it was really cold for a good a week. week a week right how did you did you were you able to drive i know it was really icy i didn't yeah. leave didn't leave the house but did you notice any difference were you able to drive it and really tell anything uh actually i did because i i wanted <laughs> i wanted i wanted to know um i'm kind of debunked that that theory a little bit yeah. well yes this car is always running so it's it is always pulling and it's that systems are always active so yeah. yeah that will drain the battery during the during the snowstorm of Fort Worth, yes. <laughs> the, the 2023 snowstorm. I uh, survived ice, the, the ice storm. We survived the <laughs> yeah. ice storm. Right, right, right. Dude, I lost I lost maybe about five miles in battery. Oh wow, that's that whole week. Nothing. Right, exactly. That 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 whole week. And then I took it out intentionally because um it is all wheel drive. Yeah. The batteries are underneath underneath which is in the frame in the frame of the car so the all the weight distribution is there so i wasn't really concerned about um you know like slipping or you know or, or whatever correct um, but i took it out because i wanted to see how it drove in in the inclement weather yes and, and it did well huh yeah yeah it, it, it did well. better than your corvette the other day <laughs> yes it did it did, it did better than, better exactly. than my corvette and, and it did better than all of the uh uh two-wheel drive trucks that got oh, lifted you know my what I'm truck saying? <laughs> right here in my drive well okay it, it was spinning everywhere right and we because we stayed in the neighborhood we drove around because my wife was doing some stuff in the neighborhood was for somebody yeah yeah and when i would pull it back in the driveway it would slide right. it would slide back down to the middle of the driveway i was like well okay right right and, so. that, and that's the that's the difference between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive yep. so and and the little and granted we didn't have you know like feats of snow and ice right. or whatever but i didn't have an issue um in fact 
I drove this a couple of times because I had to take my daughter to, to, to work. Um, um, school uh, opened up back up for my daughter at TCU, yeah. you know what I mean? So yep. I wasn't going to have her out there driving. So uh, I put her in the F-150 and we I love it. took her to school. You know, and okay, this is also not a knock on Tesla because no, 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 I don't no. know a lot about Tesla anyway, right. but everything that I've heard is the build quality right. is not there because they're a, a, a software type, whatever company, they're not a car manufacturer. I, I can agree. I definitely agree with that. And I'm not a Tesla fan, but I like the Tesla concept yes. because he was 10 years ahead of the game. Yeah. The big three, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, all the big guys laughed at him when he said he was yeah. going to make an electric car, right? right? So he did it on his own. So, dude, I, I, I give him his props on that. That, you know, and I, right. I, I'm appreciative of that as well. I mean, yeah. again, yeah. I fear for our future of full electric everybody. Right. It's not ready for that. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not. My feeling is give us electric, give us hybrids, right. and give us ICEs. Give us a choice. Give us options. Yep. You know, don't. Yep. If you if they're worried about fuel and all that and the environment, that's fine. Right. We can we can find that happy medium. Yes. No. You know? No. I agree. I, I agree. So, I agree. So yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not the green earther dude. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm not. Right. I'm not. No. Obviously no. 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 Not with the C8. <laughs> right. Right. Not with a, Yeah. Not with a C8. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not gonna say no. Don't eat meat and no. Yeah. No. I'm not that dude. But I am the dude that. Whoa. This thing is fast. Oh, yeah. this thing is incredible. It got more power and torque than instantly than anything I ever yeah. owned. And I, I owned a lot of big horsepower stuff, right? right? So, dude, I love to drive. In fact, you, See, you, you're going to like to drive it. I'm looking you forward like to, to it. it. And I will yeah. tell you, what, what did you tell me this color was? Sterling? Ice, no, ice, ice. Yeah, ice blue metallic. Ice blue metallic. Very yeah. similar to the Sterling uh, blue that mm -hmm. Corvette has, but it's got more blue in it. Yes. But... I will tell you right now, one of my favorite things is this logo right here. That's a great looking logo. I love that font. This is such a good looking car and, or truck, I should say. Right, right. The F-150, <laughs> the automobile. Right. And I like the American flag there on the side with the with the lightning bolt. That's yep. very important to me. I'm a big fan of the flag. So very nice. So and I like you got the rubber mat in here. Yeah. I, I, I wish I had the rubber mat. I actually have if I'm not mistaken, I have nothing. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I, don't, I look at my truck every day, so things don't even, like, right, right. I don't even remember what I have. But that makes a big difference. For, and, you know, somebody, if you're, if you're towing it, or if you're moving stuff, right. it doesn't scratch up the paint and, no, and all that. You know? and, and I use my truck as a truck. Exactly. Uh, and, and as you can see, the, the mat is scuffed up because yeah. I go to Lowe's and, and get bricks and plants and stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My, my wife make me get that kind of stuff, but, you know, um, uh, bricks and everything. So yeah. They literally just put the whole pallet with a forklift. Nice. Set it right in, inside. In there. the middle of the truck. You know what I'm saying? I just unload it nice. when I get home. And yeah. I like how you've got some measurements right here. Yeah. Ford designed this truck with it being a work truck capable in yeah. mind. Um, so it has, has a, a workbench that you can use. It has Very uh, nice. measurements. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you want to cut something, I had to measure something. Uh, there's another power plant in the back, but I have it covered up because uh, I don't I don't use the rear power plant. Yeah. But in in that one, you could plug up your RV. You know, uh, yeah. you can you can plug up back to your house to put energy back into your house, like with the power outages and stuff that we have. I saw a video with that. Yep. 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 Very and and nice. it, it'll run your house for like like three to five days. You know wow. what I'm saying? That's if you especially if you live someplace right. like in South like Rural, in Houston right. or something like that where they get hurricanes. Yep. And the power goes out. Yep. You know. So. That's awesome. And here's something stuff. really, really cool because I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a young, I'm not a young buck anymore. You <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> so, so getting in and out of the truck. Oh, this, nice. Get you a little handle. Yep. Look get you a little handle, and 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 it, and it holds all my weight. And I'm, I'm every, I'm every bit of two fifteen. Wow, you know what I mean? So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little guy, but I'm big. <laughs> You're stout. So, yeah. So, See, I need this because you know I start right. climbing up and down off of some roofs. Yeah. By the end of the day, my knees killing me. If yeah. I got to get in and out of my truck, that'd be phenomenal. Yeah. So you could just use that to get you know to get up and down. I so love it. It's, it's it's like they pretty much thought of everything. Yeah. And so, what was the MSRP on this? In 2022, uh, the MSRP on this truck was eighty thousand. Okay. It was eighty thousand, but since then. There have been two increases, yeah. and now the Lariat is right about eighty-eight or ninety thousand, mm -hmm. and then the highest level, which is the Platinum. Yep. And truthfully, the only thing you get different in the Platinum is uh, color, color interior, leather color interior, okay. two-tone interior, yep. and a different a different set of wheels. Um, that's really the only thing you get. Then for me, the, that wouldn't even be close. Right. To it's enough. right. It's it's just like getting a three LT. Yeah. 
Carvet. Material to get in the, yeah. the, where you can get the yellow stitch right. or whatever color stitch you right. get a couple little minor you know right yeah, yeah you don't get nothing else performance wise right, right. um it's all it's, it's all cosmetic but yeah. if that's your cup of tea you know then then go right ahead sure. but, but but for me the most bang for the buck was the lariat because um with the dual battery because they got two batteries they have yeah. a standard battery which is only about 200 maybe no 230 miles mm -hmm. right um uh, that is that don't really work for you unless you're really really commuting somewhere like short Sure. But the extended range battery, which yep. is 300 or 330, uh, that works because that's like a full tank of gas in a truck. How much extra was that? Do uh, you remember? Because I know that's kind of an obscure question. No, no, it was it was ten thousand, but it was ten thousand in a package. Uh, right, not right. just for that. Not just yeah. You got not, other options right, with it. Right. So you either get the standard battery. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or you get the extended range battery. When the extended range battery comes in the Lariat edition. And you also get the two panel roof, the the, the uh, uh, 14 speaker uh, sound system. Very nice, look at that. Yeah. All of the integration for uh, autonomous driving. I mean, uh, like, nice. like, like, it's a it's a complete package. Yeah, it's, it's well worth ten thousand. See, I love that, and I do love the the uh, panoramic. The panel, yeah, yeah, it's the panoramic because the yeah. TRX I had had it, yep. and I absolutely loved it. Yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. Yep, and it completely opens. It completely opens uh, opens up, and right now I just have the I just have the shade all the way back, and that's pretty much how I drive it all the time. Yep, until summer, right? Yep, <laughs> <laughs> and then you might melt. <laughs> right, right. But I love it. And I'm telling you, this color would be the color I would probably choose just yep. because. It's it is amazing, and I don't know that it's gonna pick up on video, but it is so. Yeah, nice. you have to you have to see it in person, even you though it's do. a little bit of a little bit of an overcast, but yes. which is great because you can see the blue in it. Right. Yeah. Sunny days, the, they almost there's too much shadows, too much brightness. It yeah. kind of blows it out. But man, this is absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, the back of this truck is big enough. Oh yeah. For any full size adult. Your, your work crew or, you know, or your guys, whoever, you know, guys, girls, whoever, you know. Something yeah, because this is yeah. about the same, this is the same, I, I'm assuming, as mine. And yeah. I put an ice chest in the back of my truck every day because, right. you know, it gets hot when I'm out running around yeah, checking yeah. jobs and guys and stuff. And Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, with your truck, I just put it up front. Yeah, yeah, you can just put it in the front. <laughs> yeah. Mine doesn't have that ability. There's an, uh, this thing called an engine up yeah, there. Yeah, you still got, still got an engine in the back. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't work in that, that one. Well, we might be able to move that, though. You know, yeah. you know what I'm exactly. Yeah, I love it. But, uh, yeah, this is an awesome, awesome pickle. So, I guess let's go out for a ride. Yeah, no, absolutely. All you, right. You got to drive. I'll drive. Okay. Let's do it.